click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see constant V by F control. So basically we are looking at how to control the speed of the motor. So this is one of the basic type which is mostly used to control the speed of the motor. So let's see what is V by F control of the three phase induction motor. So here I have drawn the graph that shows what is the constant V by F control. Now the topic name itself is explanatory that is a V by F that means somewhere you are going to see the ratio of a voltage and a frequency. As I said in the previous video you can control the speed of the motor by changing the parameters of either stator or a rotor and that parameters are nothing but the external supply voltage or it can be a supply frequency. So basically V stands for the supply voltage and a frequency is nothing but the supply frequency. So this is the ratio of a voltage and a frequency. If you maintain this ratio as per the requirement then you can change the speed of the motor. Let's see how. Now this is here on X axis we have a stator frequency correct and on a Y axis we have a stator voltage. So we are going to see basically how this voltage and frequency will manage the speed of the motor. So here at zero when the frequency when there is a no supply also the supply frequency is also zero. So you, if you start from a zero you can see as if you are maintaining the V1 and Fn that is the supply voltage and supply frequency ratio should be constant. That means if you are increasing some amount of voltage you should also increase the frequency to maintain that ratio. That means you are changing the voltage and you are changing the frequency but you are maintaining that ratio is a constant. So for that constant ratio you can see there is an increase in a stator voltage and also there is an increase in a stator frequency that means you are maintaining this constant at the same time because the ratio is a constant the air flux between the stator and rotor will remain constant we have a rotor in between and then we have a stator also so whatever the magnetic flux or air flux between the stator and rotor that will remain constant so your torque will also remain constant for that particular period. Now this will happen till only the rated stator frequency. That is a critical value of a speed you can say we have studied in the torque slip characteristics. But beyond this if you want to increase the torque here what will happen due to the constant voltage and variable frequency control you will achieve the constant power because still here what you will get your V1 by F1 is nothing but V rated and F rated because it is only possible till the rotate rated stator frequency till rated value only it is possible after that you are torque will st start reducing. Why? Because the air flux between the rotor and stator will start decreasing and due to the decrease in a air flux your torque will decrease but your power will remain constant after the rated stator frequency that is the constant V by F control. So if you want to control the speed or control the torque of the motor you can use this particular region that is up to rated stator frequency by keeping the voltage frequency ratio constant you can change the speed of the motor. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Do subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.